I suppose a third time around you can enter without knocking. With all due respect, sir, I wouldn't have come here three times if I felt like I deserved the marks that I got. Well, my answer is the same as the other two times. Sir, please, there has to be some scope for a re-evaluation. Fine. Let me ask you this. Did you work hard or did you work smart for this exam? It's ineffective doing either when you bend the definitions to what you believe is correct. What I believe is correct? Is correct. Answer the earlier question, Kaya. I don't know. I just gave it my all. Blindly giving it your all doesn't amount to much here. Sir, please. At least reevaluate question four. I find it unfair because I had the right answer in essence. No, you didn't. Sir. Sir, I'm asking you with all my heart, please understand my situation. I need to pass this paper. And question four has five marks. You wouldn't even have to give me all of them. I'm sorry, Katya. I really am. But nothing's going to change. Even if you go to court. Sir, please. Please reconsider this. You heard my answer, Katya. Next time I see you, I hope it's in a filled classroom. Let's go to court. Come again? I want to go to court. I can't tell if you're joking or wishfully thinking aloud. Neither. You think this case has enough merit to stand in court? I am not talking about a judicial court. This is your idea of a court? Wrong question. Are you underestimating the power held by this court, skinny Captain America? Amelia, you're Katya's friend. How does that make you qualify to judge this again? Katya, this isn't convincing me anymore to change your grade. Hey! Addressing me by my first name instead of, I know it burns, but, your honor, and hostility towards the opposition. These offenses will not be taken lightly by the court. Please abide by the house rules. I'm sorry, Amelia, but I can't help but notice that you're a judge in a joke of a court and you failed the same exam by a damn landslide. I have this demotion contract under the name Sean Cadet was signed by the Chancellor. It just requires my signature to go in action. Want to know which position? A teaching assistant for anthropology. It's my role now. You're just a student. There's no way you can do that. You shouldn't defy a student, especially when their opinion on the teacher now actually makes a difference. All right, let's we'll start with the opening statements. You'll find that I answered the question based on nine different credible sources. Professors have a free choice of going about content as long as it's covered. Other students also follow the same structure as me. I specifically instructed my students to primarily follow slides and lecture notes. Other students also follow the same answer structure as me. I clearly stated, ignore the textbooks. Despite this, Mr. Cadell marked my question as zero. It was clearly addressed at the beginning of the semester. He stated the explanation was weak. It was also there on the website for them to see. He said it lacked depth. Katya's answer lacked depth. An extreme blow to my motivation. An attempt to lowball the exam. Therefore, I strongly believe I am entitled to the three marks. So, I believe the grading there is justified. So evidence checks out for the both of you. Now we're headed to cross-examination, so brace up. I'm not going to ask any questions, so for the ones I do, please answer them honestly. I'd be happy to. Okay, starting off easy. Did you see my announcement document on the website? Did you or did you not? Yes, I did. 
Why didn't you consider the information within that document? I made a fair assumption that the textbook material would be taken into account. Why would you assume that when it was clearly said at the bottom of those 20 pages that what I expect is beyond the textbook? Still, doesn't take away from us correcting something. Ah, uh, so out of sight and out of mind, huh? Must have just been in my course. Can you remind me what the average grade was in your other courses? You should answer the question, Miss Laurier. 27 out of 50. So you performed equally bad in all the other courses. Five scrolls down the document would have fetched you a lot more than five marks, Miss Laurier. That's all, Your Honor. Would you say you're a strict teacher, Mr. Carell? Yes, I'd say so. Records show that the previous economics professor had no such rule of strictly following the slides. Any credible source would do. Why impose on you ruling that? I did what I believed was right. Could you expand on that? The situations in the book are too ideal. I try to find situations that are more applicable for the real world. Would explanations on your slides match any major credible source of life? Chances could be low. So, Mr. Cadell, you're bending rules of experienced seasoned experts to your ideologies, which are quite nonsensical. Wait, wait, objection. Oh, oh, Ruth. I have grounds for it. She's testifying. Well, justice is blind and selectively deaf. Okay, then how entangled would you say your professional and personal virtues are? The former extends over the latter when grading papers, that's for sure. Last year, your correcting was nowhere near as strict as this year. What reason could there be? Last year, we had COVID affect a lot of students. Wrong. I'll tell you why. What was the average grade distribution of all your courses this year? How is that relevant? Answer the question, Mr. Cardell. 32 to 37. And what about last year? 43 to 47. <laughs> Let me put it this way. You crave for respect. Last year's badge sucked up to you. They loved you, respected you. But this year's batch undermined you, disrespected you. If there are grounds for you being unjust, do you hold any credibility in grading fairly? You tend to reach a level of grievance when the efforts are one-sided. That will be all, Your Honor. The court orders the defense to award five additional points to Ms. Laurier. Case closed.